All right, today we're gonna go do a quick walkthrough on how a hydrostatic pump and motor assembly, in this case, it's a whole hydrostatic transmission, self-contained. So we have our charge pump, our hydrostatic drive motor, gear reduction transmission out to our axle shaft. A little loose there. Anyway, this one grenaded pretty damn well. Woo, look at that. Magnets caught a good bit, but either way. So what we start out with is we got all that. We got a little park brake mechanism manually actuated here that holds the output. And this is going to be our rotary piston pump. This is going to be our charge pump. So this has a little inlet. There would be a filter that sits in here. And that's your suction side. So that actually starts sucking in right here and it would go I don't know if we'll be able to see it but the suction gets pulled right into this port here by this pump mechanism and then pressurized gets pushed back out this side and then actually that's going to go down into here but what we have here for our charge pump is a derotor or a hunting tooth design so if you count here we have one two three four five six teeth and this center shaft is actually spun by this fan hub here. And this would remain stationary. This ring would remain stationary in the pump housing. So it creates a void, pulls through the filter, takes the oil in. And as it goes around, this ring actually has seven holes. So there's always a gap. And it might be too oily for me to really do it. Come on now. There we go. But basically, as it goes through, this rotates around. There we are. And you constantly have one opening, so it's pulling suction, and then as it closes, it starts to pressurize. This would rotate around and put it through here. So then we're going to... I got one more bolt here. So that's the charge pump side. And then we have our swash plate pump here which has a manual side lever that I'm not going to be able to fully actuate because it's all jammed up. But this pump is currently in the neutral position. And it's flat. If we move it one way, it starts having a pumping action and moves it forward. If we angle the swash plate the other direction, it starts to transmit the power in reverse. So let me get... The rest of this yanked apart, and we'll do part two where we look at the swash plate pump a little bit closer so everybody gets an idea how they work.